Defense attorneys for the five men accused of plotting to kidnap and kill Governor Gretchen Whitmer are seeking to dismiss their indictments against their clients. In a new motion, the attorneys have described the charges as egregious overreaching by federal agents and informants. And 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javid is live with us with the latest. Faraz. Brian, the defense team in the Whitmer kidnapping plot case are asking the judge to toss the indictment. The move comes after a stream of allegations have surfaced against the investigation team. In the 20-page motion filed Saturday night, FBI agents and federal prosecutors have accused of inventing a conspiracy and entrapping the defendants who, if convicted, could face up to life in prison. The defense is asking U.S. District Judge Robert Jonker to dismiss the conspiracy charge, which could effectively knock down the federal government's case and other connected charges. The request comes after claims were made against the government's team, including the conviction of Richard Trask, an FBI special agent who was arrested on a domestic violence charge and later fired and convicted of a misdemeanor. Now five people are charged with the kidnapping conspiracy. They have pleaded not guilty and their trial is set to take place on March 8th in Grand Rapids. Meanwhile, in January, a sixth man, 26-year-old Ty Garbin, pleaded guilty and is serving a six-year federal prison sentence. Now, federal prosecutors say that the men or the accused were not entrapped and the alleged men did conspire because they were upset over coronavirus restrictions. I'm Faraz Javid reporting from downtown Detroit. Brian, back to you. All right, Faraz, thank you so much for that report.